Hello and welcome to Man Cave Maven. Today we're going over how to kid proof the bunkhouse in your camper. The first half of our video, we're going to go over some additions that I've added to this camper to make it more user friendly and safe for the kids. And the second half of the video, we'll go into a little bit more depth on how to create those things. Enjoy. One of the additions to the bunkhouse are these small walls. These particular ones are constructed from pieces of old shelving I had. And they're attached to a piece of plywood that goes underneath the mattress, thinking that the weight of the kid presses down the plywood, keeps this from rocking and rolling. These, if you were to buy them online, would go anywhere from $30 to $50 each. Obviously, if you have left them over material from projects you could just make them yourself save some money ladder is obviously constructed from two two by fours and that is a bar i had left over from a closet that's been cut up and uh laid in between the two so yeah let's go over how to build them here we have the small walls Here's the piece that goes underneath the mattress. The dimension here, you don't have to get really picky about. Uh, like I was saying earlier, it's just the way the kid pressing down on this, keeping it from moving around. I used three inch screws to uh, cut into the spine of the, uh, the board here. I pre-drilled it. Uh, if you look at how skinny the board is here, that would have been prone to cracking if I didn't otherwise, but very simple design. Like I said, if you have pieces lying around the, the house uh, you're not using, you can probably get pretty creative. I also considered making a uh, 45 degree brace here where sort of the headboard would go. And uh, after constructing this the way it is now, I opted not to even add that. It, it wasn't needed. So... There you go. Save a couple money doing that. Couple money. Looking at the ladder now, one thing worth mentioning, I cut this bottom at an angle, so that way the ladder sits at an angle, resting against the bunk. One of the most challenging parts of this project here was finding the dimension of this cutout here. How I did that was measure the dimension, the width of this board, and then cutting it out there. And same thing, the height, the height, and then obviously an angle here in order for this to slip over, and enough meat on this end, so that way you can apply stress on the ladder and it's not gonna break. Obviously the dimension of these holes are a little bit off, I used a hole saw to cut those. Where's my hole saw here? No, oh, in my pocket. Uh, the dimensions aren't perfect, but we're not holding a Mack truck here, so not a huge deal. I use those same three inch screws to run a majority of the way through the board here. Sorry, the two by four. And that's pretty much it. Stained it. Looks pretty good. I think these go for around 100 bucks online. So once again, get creative, save some money, and have fun. Hello, and thank you for watching our video. I hope you got something from it today. At Man Cave Maven, uh, we're just a couple people that play around with projects around the house. If you have any suggestions for things that you want to learn or discuss, put it in the comments. Uh, we also have a website, too, you can go to and uh, talk to us there. Happy building, and have a great day.